Hey everybody, so welcome to Vlogtober Day 2, which in typical Annie fashion, there was no day one <laughs> because I didn't know about it. I, well, I knew about it and then I kind of went off my radar and I was like... Then I, this morning I thought to do it, so today's Wednesday the 2nd, I was like, oh, I'll do Vlogtober. I'm going to really make an effort to do Vlogtober. Really, really, really make an effort. And I knew exactly what I was going to vlog today because Keith was going to pick apples today from our backyard because we have a big, giant apple tree and it's full of apples. And so I was going to vlog outside with him while he's picking apples and just chit-chat and blah 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 and it's pouring down rain today. All day long has been pouring down rain. And it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And he actually, he's baking a cake. This is how wonderful my husband is. If you're new to my channel, oh, my hair now is like, <laughs> this is a crazy vlog. If you're new to my channel and you're just searching Vlogtober, I guess I should introduce myself, right? My name is Annie Ann Hatfield, and um, my channel is primarily uh, beauty stuff, but I have also adult coloring, too. I am an Avon rep. Um, I've been an Avon rep for... Oh my gosh, I think it's going to be 10 years this this February. And um, I am a top-selling rep. I do very well uh, with my Avon, and I really enjoy it. And so I use my YouTube channel to, uh, you know, uh, service my Avon customers because I'm an online Avon rep. So that's mostly what I do. But I also have adult coloring because I like to color. It's a hobby of mine, and I like, um, I'm like. i also interested in plus-size fashion. Okay, and I'm a nut and I'm always disorganized and I never have my crap together. So just so you know, if, if you're already a subscriber, you know this, right? So, um, so anyways, this morning I'm having coffee and I'm like, I'm going to do Vlogtober and how it came on my radar was I knew about it, but I wasn't sure. And then one of the plus size YouTubers I follow, Natalie Drew, um, she does plus size fashion. I love Natalie. And she did her Vlogtober post this morning and I watched it and I'm like, I need to do a Vlogtober and I really need to stick with it and be consistent and I'm going to do it. So that's when I'm like, when I get done with my coffee, I said to my husband, Keith, I said, what are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to go pick those apples and blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm going to film you while you, while you do the apples because... The way he picks apples is highly entertaining. <laughs> I call it apple whacking. <laughs> but we'll save that for another day when he actually does it. And so he was like, all right, whatever. And then I took my shower, filmed an Avon video that I needed to do, and it was pouring rain. And it's been pouring, it started pouring rain right like when it was time for me to get in the shower, and it's been pouring rain ever since. So I'm like, I cannot film outside. I tried, I went outside. It's just too rainy and dark and gloomy. So I was like, what am I going to do? We're having tacos for dinner. So then I was like, oh, I can vlog while we're making tacos. And then Keith's like, I really don't want you to do that. I don't feel like having you film me cook and everything. Well, and now he's making an apple. He's not making an apple. He's making a cake. We we have with our apple tree that we that we have in the backyard, we, we pick the apples and then we cook them and we freeze them. Um, we cook them in cinnamon and sugar and we freeze them and then we eat them all winter long. So we had one bag left of apples from last year that hadn't been used. So he's made a cake today. My husband is wonderful. He made a cake, uh, it's like a, a yellow cake, and then he um, took the last bag of apples out of the freezer and he's cooking them on the stove, like warming them up, adding some more brown sugar and cinnamon to them. And then, so he, he cooked, a, baked his uh, yellow cake in layers. And then he's gonna put the apples in between the layers. Huh. And then he'll pick the apples that are on our tree now and we'll start the process all over again. But I'm telling you people, if you have not had hot fried apples on a snowy morning with biscuits you are missing out it is one of the pleasures of life so anyways then i'm like what am i gonna do because i've got to do a vlog for vlogtober and i already missed the first day so just now i had a macy's order come in the mail so i was like oh i can unbox my macy's order right so that'd be something fun to do maybe i don't know so i thought i would do this unboxing and then also i was going to tell you too just a little while ago he got us tickets for an event in january at the redford theater we, we live in the detroit um, area and the redford theater is a historic theater um 
on the edge of Redford in Lake Detroit. And they do fun events all the time. And he just got us tickets to see, in January, Napoleon Dynamite and the cast of Napoleon Dynamite. So it's going to be Napoleon, Pedro, Uncle Rico, and Tina the Fat Lard Llama <laughs> is all going to be at the Redford Theater. And we are going to go watch it. And then they are going to, uh, like, talk in an intermission. They're going to host a movie, talk about the movie, and they are doing a meet and greet. And everything is going to be so much fun. I am so excited. So if you're new to my channel, we do stuff like this frequently. We're big movie buffs, and we like to do things like that. So, yeah. So I'm excited. So we just he just bought those tickets about an hour ago. So now we have something to look forward to. After Christmas and New Year's is over, we have something fun to look forward to. Okay, so fast forward to this. Macy's order just came today. I didn't think it was going to come until Friday. That's when the tracking originally had said Friday, and then I hadn't checked it. Uh... I hadn't checked it, but it came today. So I ordered. I had ordered some holiday makeup items, but not a lot. And I also ordered some that wasn't holiday makeup because I'm a, I'm a Fruit Loop like that. So even though, if you're new to the channel, even though I sell Avon and I'm an Avon rep, I'm also like a, basically addicted to beauty products. And I use all different brands, and it's just something I do. So, um just so you know that. Um, but okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what's in the box and we'll get going. So first of all, it looks like I have arthritis in my hands too. So sometimes stuff is a little bit hard for me to do. So here's the inside of the box. Oops. And I dropped right away, obviously something out of the box. Okay. So here is the goodie bag with the free samples in it that Macy's does. You don't get to choose your samples at Macy's like you do with like um, Sephora. I think Ulta lets you do that too. Maybe Nordstrom. I can't remember. So there's these are all fragrances. So there is Versace, Bright Crystal, uh, Violon Card Perfume, uh, Versace, Dylan Blue for her, Violon Card. I'm seeing a Versace theme here. And Versace Eros for her violon card. Usually I, I like it when I get the men's stuff because then I give it to my husband. And I sometimes I hold on to these um, little plastic bags. Let's see. What else? Oh, there's an ad for Geico in here. Um, and then uh, like a brochure for the Clinique gift with purchase that they got going on right now. Spend $29 to take home your free Clinique gift. Hand pick seven pieces for a value of $95, and that goes through October 8th at Macy's. So if you're into Clinique, you might want to check that out. Another uh, $85 wine voucher, which I don't drink, so not a big deal. And then everything else is wrapped in the Macy's big, thick, heavy paper. So basically all I got was everything Too Faced, and then uh, I did get one thing that wasn't. And um, this was a free thing. Also, they had, this was bigger than I thought it would be. So they had a free gift. If you spent over $35, you could uh, choose between all these like samples. And I chose the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. I guess it's not going to show because it's so reflective. I have never used this before. And I've heard really good things about this and wanted to try it for a long time. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And then this is the non Too Faced item that I picked up. And this is the Tony Moly I'm Honey Mask and Hand Cream Set. Now, last year, and they look so cute. They're in these like little crackers. They have these in several different um, scents or types. And on the side there, it tells you what you get. Last year, I bought a couple of these because they were really good. I think this one was $14.99. But last year, they had them. I got them after Christmas on clearance for like $8.99. And they had two hand creams and two sheet masks in them. And I bought the one in I'm Honey because I like honey scented skincare products. Um, and I fell in love with the Tony Moly I'm Honey hand cream. I absolutely fell in love with it. It's by far my favorite hand cream formula. And this one, this year, it's got two sheet masks, a hand cream, and a face mask, like a cream mask, like a wash off mask. Um, and so I was like, well, I'm gonna get this because the hand cream by themselves are $6. And, um, in the last last year's thing you got two and this year's it's one but still six dollars is what that normally is and this was $14.99 for a hand cream a, a two sheet masks and the uh 
the honey, let's see, I usually need my glasses, the honey restore mask. So I don't know if that's a, a sleeping mask or a rinse off. I'm not sure yet. So I'll have to try that. Okay. And then here is the Too Faced stuff that I got. I need to screw up just a little bit there so my box doesn't fall. I picked up the Hot Buttered Rum palette. And it's one of the small palettes. The Too Faced stuff was on sale. Let me get my... Uh, the Too Faced stuff was on sale, 20% off. So I picked this up. It's just one of their little palettes. And so this one was $20. And they say it smells like hot buttered rum. So here, isn't it cute? It's cute, right? Oh, it does. It To me, it smells like a little cinnamony or something. I can smell the rum. Anyways, it's just a basic neutral palette, but it does have their like normal packaging that they have. The, um, I guess because it's kind of metallic, you're not going to be able to see. But it does have their like normal uh, metal packaging in there and the mirror inside. So just neutrals, but looks really fun for fall. It looks really, really fun. And it does smell good. So that is the hot buttered rum little guy. And I thought that would be good for traveling because sometimes I have to stay with my mom and it's in that nice package. So I thought that would be good. So the other thing I got uh, that's holiday and then I got something that's not holiday. Ooh. This is the Let It Snow Girl Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Now, and it says, smells like fresh, fresh baked sugar cookies. So... Okay, so here you get um, a mascara, one of their Better Than Sex mascaras, and then these are three little palettes, or three palettes. Um, they are, I think this one has a bronzer and a highlighter in it, and then the middle one is blushes, and then bottom is eyeshadow palette. So, yeah, so that's going to be kind of fun to to uh, take a look at. But the packaging was really cute, and I saw this on um, Emily Noel's uh uh, uh, channel. She reviewed that, that set and she liked it. So I went ahead and got it. And then the last thing I got is a holiday. I'm an eyeshadow palooza right now, but it's also an eyeshadow palette. And this is the, and again, with the metallic packaging, this is the natural lust. Yeah, it's going to be really, um, but this one has been out for a while and you know, it wasn't really on my radar. Let me see if I can open this one. It wasn't really on my radar, but then, uh, I was like, well, how does this go? But, uh, how do I open it? Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not. And then I thought, well, I kind of do. And um, so I went back and I searched for actually Emily's review of it because I trust her usually um, as a source of uh, reliable information. And so I... I watched it, her video for it, and she really, really spoke highly of it. Now, oh, so it comes with, uh, a pamphlet that tells you the, like, different looks, you know what I mean, that you can get with the palette and stuff like that. On the back of it, it says, of the seven deadly sins, lust is definitely the most fun. Hmm, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> but so here is the palette. Hopefully it's not broken or damaged or anything. And I'm not... Oh, it's beautiful. I am not always into neutrals. It has a giant mirror in there, so I'm going to try to not show that. Um, I don't want to blind anybody. But yeah, it's so it's it's got lots of neutrals. But I like neutrals sometimes. I definitely like my colors, but neutrals have their, their place. So, yeah. Really fun. And I just, I haven't purchased any Too Faced in a really long time. Um, I know I have the chocolate bar palettes and I have the peaches and cream, but I don't usually get their holiday collections. I haven't bought a holiday collection from Too Faced in a very, very long time. So I don't feel like, let's open this really quick. Well, no, no. Well, I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Anyways, um, I haven't, uh, bought any of their holiday stuff in a really really long time so I was like you know what let's just get some let's see if it really does smell like fresh baked cookies okay, so toss that aside okay so look how cute that is look how cute with your little mascara right there 
And I think they open like they're round. You do it to the side. So here's this one here. Look how cute that is. I don't know. Oh, okay. So yeah, you just pull it to the side. So that looks like a bronzer and a highlighter. Now my light is bad. I didn't have my I don't have my good light on right now because I had already stopped filming for the day. So yeah. So that's your bronzer and your highlighter. And then this one I believe is the blushes. Let me push that over. Oh, okay, there it goes. Ooh, these are pretty. Those are pretty. So that's your blushes there. Those are really pretty. Now this is just cardboard, just so you know. It's just cardboard, it's not metal. And then I'll show you what the eyeshadow one looks like really quick if I can get it out. It might be stuck in there pretty good. So all my vlogs are not gonna be this long. Some of them, I seriously, I'm only planning to do like five minute ones. Um, but this one just happened to be a little bit longer. So this is the eyeshadow one. So I'm definitely not in need of eyeshadows. This, uh, so this is kind of weird though how it does that, but kind of interesting. So there's those. So I mean, they're not bulky or anything. The packaging isn't bulky, but you know, it's kind of different. So yeah, so that's it, you guys. That's my first day of Vlogtober, which it really wasn't a vlog, but it's just me telling you that I had intended to do, like, the apple picking vlog. I have all kinds of ideas planned out for um, Vlogtober. Um, taking some color tour of the leaves here in Michigan. They should be peaking in, in about two weeks. And then um, also some events that we're going to, Halloween events. We're going to different things. Um, our anniversary is tomorrow, so I thought I could bring you along for a little bit of that. Um, our 10-year anniversary. And also um, we are going to Greenfield Village, I think, uh, to Fall Flavor Weekend this weekend. So I thought we could vlog some of that. And and um, on next week we're going to Cleveland, Ohio, so that I can see Joe Bob Briggs. We have tickets for that event, uh, his How Redneck Saved Hollywood tour. So all different kinds of stuff we have going on in October, plus Halloween, you know. So yeah, I just thought this would be uh, a good start to kick it off. But like I said, I am definitely not planning on doing them all this long. I plan on keeping them short. Um, uh, I want to vlog between maybe 5 to 15 minutes. I'd, I'm not planning on having any longer ones. Um, I would say 5 to 10 minutes if I can uh, for most of them. So, But yeah, so this is my introduction to Vlogtober. A little non-vloggy, but at the same time, sometimes you just got to roll with it, adapt, make your changes. But I'm going to go see how those cakes are doing upstairs in the uh, oven and um, have our tacos and upload some videos. So, yeah. And I can't, just so you know, too, I didn't wear eye makeup today because I got a sty on my eye. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A sty on my eye. Out of the blue. Just like that. Life happens. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I will see you tomorrow with the Vlogtober Day 3. I don't know why I'm singing. I apologize for that. Catch you soon.